Uh, welcome to another video. Uh, at this time we're going to show you how to create a race within the newest version of Fantasy Grounds. Uh, so the first thing we need is the race button up on the right hand side here. So if we click on library and take up, look up at the, the menu at the very top there, we'll find a little checkbox for races. Uh, click that and the races button will appear. Click on the races button uh, and then on the little brown edit button and then on the little green plus button and that brings up the race dialog. Uh, you'll notice that the dialog here has uh, two tabs down the right hand side here, the main tab and the other tab. The other tab is where uh, all the guts of the thing happens. This is what uh, Fantasy Ground uses when it's uh, working out what things to do uh, in terms of automation. The main tab is really just text and it doesn't really matter uh, what you actually put in there. Um, none of it actually is used by Fantasy Grounds per se but obviously uh, from a player's point of view it gives you all the information uh, about the race. So let's start by uh, giving the race a name and uh, then we just fill this in with text basically. Uh, so uh, I've uh, copy pasted some text here or I've uh, prepared text before. Uh, this is all fully editable um, in the sense that you can make um, formatted text here so if you wanted to make that uh, a sort of an introductory uh, paragraph and you made it you wanted to make it uh, italics then uh, fair enough that you can do that. Uh, and you can also um, drag in images, uh, for example, there, just to uh, spice things up so that your uh, players have got a, an image to uh, go to to see what kind of race they're, they're looking at. Um, and you can uh, then continue filling this in with uh, just uh, any old text that you, you pretty much want. Um, you can copy paste or whatever. Um, and I've got some text here which I've done already so I'll just uh, quickly do this uh, so that you can see uh, the various things that you can do uh, right so that's pretty much all you really need to worry about here you just you can put in headings you can put in normal text you can bold it you can uh, drag and drop uh, images etc uh, you can also drag and drop tables if you want um, and you can just do all the formatting here and this just presents the player with uh, a precy if you like of uh, what the uh, race is all about but it's in the other tab now that uh, we need to go to to uh, to make the guts of the thing uh, we'll leave the sub races for the moment and we'll uh, start uh, with the uh, traits themselves um, and Adding a trait is exactly the same for uh, everything that you do when you add a trait. So you click on the edit list, uh, click on the green button. Uh, this brings you up a, an editable line uh, into which you can type text. Uh, and then you can close the editing thing and it allows you then to click on the little icon to the side of that. And this uh, means that you can then uh, actually add text into this to describe that particular trait. Now the first one usually you'll find in most uh, races is the ability score increase um, and if you want Fantasy Grounds to automate uh, things like adding in the ability score increases etc um, then you, you are going to have to make sure that what you put in here is exactly as Fantasy Grounds expects it to be. So in this case, um, we're going to give it um, the race a, a strength score increase uh, of 2. And as you can see the text there says your strength score increases by 2. Uh, strength is capitalised and it says increases by 2. And you need really to, to have that wording pretty much exactly as it is. Otherwise Fantasy Grounds isn't going to pick this up. Uh, so that's ability score increase. Uh, now I'm not going to put everything in here that you might ex might find, but I'll put in a few that uh, Fantasy Grounds does actually take account of and, and does actually something with. 
Um, so we've got our ability score increase. So the next thing that we might want to think about would be size. So we, again, we put this in, we click on the little thing there, uh, and then we uh, put in some text. And again, the important bit here is the last sentence there, your size is medium, and it's capitalised. And so Fantasy Grounds will, will recognise medium, small, uh, large, whatever, uh, and it'll use that in the character sheet uh, for determining what the character size is and for certain other automatic purposes. Um, now another one uh, that you would want to automate is speed and so again we just put in the title, we go in here and we put in that our base walking speed is 25 feet. Uh, Fantasy Grounds again will put the 25 feet into the character sheet um, and you'll be able to see that when we come to test the character out. And another trait then, uh, this time one that comes up quite often, uh, dark vision, uh, better spell it correctly, uh, dark vision and again the wording just really needs to be pretty much what you would see in the uh, player's handbook for any race that has dark vision. Um, and it also this is a descriptive uh, text that the players can use. Uh, I mean in these other ones here, for example in size, you can you can have a great big blurb of text there if you like, as long as you have a sentence in that says your size is medium. Uh, the dark vision one, uh, you've the important thing is to make sure that you've got um, the 60 feet in there, or however many feet it is. Um, and the last one that we will look at is uh, languages, so we'll just put that in as well. And so we can speak a couple of languages. And again, the wording here, you can speak, read, round, write, common and Gaelic. Um, Fantasy Grounds will pick these two languages up, uh, even though Fantasy Grounds itself uh, won't necessarily understand Gaelic in this case. You can always set up the language yourself, but uh, it, it will put those into the character sheet because it's, it's correctly worded. So that's, that's the character's traits, that's enough traits. Uh, we don't need to worry about too, too many more traits, but obviously you can add in all the traits here um, for whatever character, class, whatever the thing is, but pretty much these five are the things which will get automated uh, when you drag and drop this uh, race onto the character sheet. Uh, so now let's look at the uh, sub-races. So the first thing we need to do is actually add um, a trait here uh, called subrace um, and we can close that. We don't need to actually do anything with it just now um, because we, we'll, we'll finish that off later but um, we can if you want um, put in uh, something along the lines of what your choice is. Uh, you can put some text in there for just now but we'll come back to this uh, particular one later. So let's go into the subraces itself then, we'll click the button again and we create the first subrace and so we've got a choice here that our Scotsman can be from Glasgow um, uh, I, oh we'll just add the other one in as well, they can also come from Edinburgh. So we'll close that down and uh, let's open up the, the Glasgow one and effectively what you've got here is uh, an exact is the same kind of thing as you've got with the main one. You've got a main tab and you've got another tab, uh, with the main one being pretty much for descriptive text, with the other tab being where all the actual guts of the thing goes. So uh, again in the, uh, in the main tab here um, we can just go in and we can put in some descriptive text. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we put in, but we can put in some descriptive text there just to give the player some idea of what this sub-race is and how it uh, differentiates this sub-race from the main race. Um, and then we go into the other tab and once again we are simply just going to be uh, adding in traits. Um, so let's 
give this one some ability score increase. Now you will have noticed probably when you drag and drop that the ability score increases uh, automatically add in to the character sheet and um, so just to illustrate a few of the different things that you can you can do with this um, let's uh, look at this one here and we'll give it a fairly complicated ability score increase thing so what we've got here is that your constitution score increases by two your intelligence score increases by one and your dexterity score is reduced by two so this is in addition to any ability score increase that the race will get from the main race so this is the main race will get added in to the sub race so we're we're obviously going to have quite a lot of ability scores for this one which is is probably overpowered and silly but it's just being done for uh, illustrative purposes um, now the wording again has to be exactly correct here so your constitution score increases by two your intelligence score increases by one and your dexterity is reduced by two so you can reduce ability scores as well as increase ability scores um, and it will our fantasy screens will do this automatic automatically we'll see this when we um, come to test the thing out so there's the ability score increase and we'll add another trait in here um, and this time we'll uh, give the race some skills so we can create a race a skills trait uh, we'll go in there and this time we will allow this race to gain a proficiency in one skill of your choice um, and we'll see how that will work out once we drag and drop this onto the uh, new character uh, again the wording of that has to be exactly as it is there and finally just to illustrate one other thing uh, let's give it a trait of drunkenness and let's spell it correctly um, and essentially let's say that before going into battle this race has got to roll on a table to see what happens so that's all the, t the, the trait is um, we can then drag and drop a table in there a table link in there just to illustrate that you can do that kind of thing uh, with uh, traits okay so that's the uh, the Glasgow trait we'll leave that up there for a moment and let's look at the Edinburgh one now uh, and again uh, in the Edinburgh one we've got some illustrative text at the start of it that's whatever you like to put in there and again it, the other one is the more complicated and uh, we'll start again with ability score increase uh, and uh, this time uh, we are going to give the character uh, a choice uh, of which ability scores they want to increase so again keep this wording exactly as it is two different ability scores of your choice increase by one uh, and that'll pop up a choice box and another trait and this time we'll give them some more skills and on this occasion uh, we are going to give the race uh, if it's or the sub race uh, a proficiency in a particular skill so again the wording has to be correct you gain proficiency in the deception skill obviously uh, you don't uh, any skill will, will work for that uh, so that's that so if you remember uh, down in our sub race here uh, we left this kind of blank so what you can do now just to finish things off is to uh, drag in the uh, the two uh, skills that uh, or the two sub races in there just so that the player uh, can click on them and uh, open them up and access them uh, more easily from this particular sheet um, so essentially that is it uh, so let's just check that uh, everything's working properly we'll create a new character here um, we would open up our race and we go to this page the other tab in our race nothing's going to happen if we use this page so we go to this page here 
and we just drag in the Edinburgh one into the race and as you can see um, we've got this option of choosing two abilities uh, so this has popped up so let's choose dexterity and constitution uh, click the OK and you'll see that the strength uh, from the main race went in uh, automatically it gave it a, a, plus, a plus two uh, the dexterity and con has now gone up to ten you can see that the dark vision um, has automatically been entered in there with the 60 feet you can see the speed has gone in there with the uh, 25 uh, feet um, and uh, if we close this we can click on that and we will get back to our uh, Scotsman trait um, if you look in the abilities tab it will show the languages have gone in there and you've got another little thing here for your for your skills and if you check on the skills tab you see that deception has been automatically given proficiency uh, via the drag and drop uh, so if we start another new character now and uh, this time let's drag in the Glasgow um, and here we've got the choice now choose one skill from the list below so all the skills are now noted here because we gave the, uh, the race a choice of any skill so we're going to click athletics and uh, in it goes and you'll see that the strength has gone in correctly uh, the dexterity has been reduced by two and the con and int have also been increased automatically uh, the dark vision is there, the speed is there and the skill that we chose, athletics, is also there and if you look in the abilities um, then you've got the drunkenness thing along with your table um, which can all be accessed from the uh, character sheet the languages are in there as well uh, okay right that about sums it up I think so I'll shut up uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again on the next one at some point in time cheers and out